there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I want to talk to you about some of the applications I've been using on my iPad for drawing and painting. I have an artistic background, I used to be an art teacher, so I'm interested in this sort of stuff anyway. But I had heard quite a lot said about paper from various sources on the Mac podcasts and I wondered what all the fuss was about, so I decided to have a look at it. And when I had a look, I wasn't terribly impressed. I think it must be an application that is meant for the non-artist because as an artist it's not got enough, it hasn't got enough tools, it hasn't got enough facilities, it doesn't have layers and it's uh, more expensive than another good application called Art Studio, which I do have and I do like. On Art Studio, you've got layers on there, you've got a lot of blending options, you've got a lot more tools and brushes, and you can do a whole lot more with it. And I would say that Art Studio is a much better application altogether. But after that, I did find another application for drawing and painting, and there's quite a few of them anyway. But I found another one that someone had recommended called Procreate. Now it's not about sex and having babies, although that's a nice thing to do anyway, but on this particular occasion Procreate is about drawing and painting on your iPad. It doesn't have quite as many tools as you'd find on Art Studio, but at the same time the brushes that it has are absolutely marvellous. You can do some really good effects where you're smearing paint here and there on it. You can use the smudge tool and smudge stuff as well. And it just gives you a really nice flow and I found it very easy to use. And to a certain extent I actually quite like it a little bit more than Art Studio. Now if you have a look on Pinterest at the uh, uh, URL that I'll put into the show notes for this podcast for this video on YouTube then you'll have a look at something I did a bit of a drawing I started off with a picture of a baby giraffe and I just sort of started working on it over the top and gradually sort of made it my own drawing and I'm quite pleased with it it's a bit sort of cutie and um, sweet and all that sort of stuff but well I had fun doing it anyway so what the hell and I think there's some good stuff to be had with paper if you want to do simple drawings let's not throw it completely out of the uh, out of the park as it were but um, it was not quite good enough for doing the sort of paintings that I like to do it's quite good if you want to do something that's maybe more of a sort of watercolour effect but to be able to do that you can't just do it with a free one which you only get one tool with it you have to do it with the uh, tools that you have to pay extra for to buy the full pack costs around about uh, four dollars or something like that art studio oh there's just a pile of tools in there there's all sorts of things you can do with the tools that you have in Procreate, well you've got the brush tool and within the brush tool you have a number of different tools within there, so airbrush and paint effects and stuff like that and you can do some various uh, effects where you actually make your own brushes so that you have brushes which are uh, looking like fire or something like that. In fact, you can actually make in-app purchases where you buy extra drawing tools, extra brushes, and they're not too expensive. I found them at um, 79 cents, and that was good enough. And out of these ones that I tried, I thought that Procreate was the best one for general sort of purpose use. If you want to go in something where you're using, maybe doing something with photographs, then Art Studio is good for that as well because you get a lot more blending options between the different uh, layers that you can have as well. That's another thing with Paper by 53. It hasn't got any layers. That's not very good, is it? Okay then, so check some of these out and don't forget to have a look at some of the pictures that I've uh, put up there, uh, the one I've put up on Pinterest and I shall probably put some more up there over time when I get some more drawings done because as I say I've quite enjoyed doing it and I can see myself doing more paintings, digital artwork using Procreate and Art Studio as well. If you've enjoyed these videos why don't you click on the like button, I'd appreciate that, it helps get the video noticed and also why don't you click on the subscribe button, I'm up to 400 subscribers now and I'm looking to make it to 500 and if you subscribe then you'll be informed as soon as there are new videos made for Mac 20 Questions, Video Magical or any of the other websites that I make YouTube videos for. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon.